Stand by for action. Thanks for joining me. My name is Dave Miller. I am the unpleasant blind guy. E pluribus unum. Out of many, one. It describes the true diversity of the people of the United States of America. That which the people of our country hold as dear as the Constitution of the United States, because we know that that document exists for all of us who are prepared to defend it and live by it. But some, particularly in our academic community at the end of 2016, chose to ignore that to pursue the control mechanism of false diversity, which is now the gospel on almost all campuses of our institutions of higher learning. I'm going to read you an email sent to me via a leopard woman, a friend of the program, without whom the program might not exist, not at SHR Media, not at High Plains Pundit Media, not on YouTube, not anywhere. This mail is from Jonathan Lash, president of Hampshire College, dated December the 2nd, 2016. This morning, we raised the United States flag to full staff at Hampshire College after a two-week discussion period about what the flag means to members of the Hampshire community. College leadership, including the Board of Trustees, decided on November 18th to lower the flag for a time to encourage uninhibited expression of deeply held viewpoints. And I'll stop here to say that it's my opinion that deeply held viewpoints are best discussed when the stars and stripes are flown high. To continue, we are alarmed by the covert hate and threats, especially towards people in marginalized communities, which have escalated in recent weeks. Oh, you mean the threats and hate that was aimed at people who voted for Donald Trump? The threats and hate shown for anyone who did not agree with Hillary Clinton? Shown for anyone who did not agree with socialism and was not for the destruction of the United States of America? You know, somehow I don't think that's the case. To continue. We did not lower the flag to make a political statement. <laughs> yeah, right. Nor did we intend to cause offense to veterans, military families, or others for whom the flag represents service and sacrifice. Actually, I rather think that the Hampshire community doesn't give a rat's furry behind about those people, despite the fact that it was their sacrifices that allowed them to put on these demonstrations and take the flag down in the first place. To continue, we acted solely to facilitate much-needed dialogue on campus about how to dismantle the bigotry that is so prevalent in our society. And I'll stop here to say that they might want to start with the bigotry from the left and its Muslim allies. That would probably remove about 90% of all bigotry in the United States of America at this point, but I doubt that they see it that way. To continue, we understand that many who hold the flag as a powerful symbol of national ideals and their highest aspirations for the country, including members of our own community, felt hurt by our decisions. And that we deeply regret. Now, frankly, folks, I doubt that because they made the decision to do it in the first place. Either they were so clueless that they didn't realize what the reaction would be, or they just plain didn't care. I kind of think it was a second. To continue. The dialogue we have experienced so far is the first stage of a process. Hampshire staff and faculty have led facilitated discussions. I have held multiple focus group sessions, and all of our students, Faculty and staff have been invited to contribute their opinions, questions, and perspectives about the U.S. flag. This is what free speech looks like. We believe in it. We will continue this work on campus, and we will look for ways to engage with our neighbors in the wider community. We raise the flag now as a symbol of that freedom and in hopes of justice and fairness for all. As an aside, I'll say justice and fairness for all, as long as they agree with leftist-dominated viewpoints. To continue, at Hampshire, we are committed to living up to these principles. 
to insist on diversity, inclusion, and equality from our leaders and in our communities, and the right to think critically and to speak openly about the historical tensions that exist throughout the country. As an aside, unless, of course, someone disagrees, then they'll be shouted down and threatened with violence. To continue. To constructively and peacefully resist those who are opposing these values. So as you can see, their second bullet point contradicts their first. Because not everyone agrees with their version of what quote-unquote diversity means. To continue. To actively and passionately work toward justice and positive change on our campus and in the world. No less should be expected of any institution of higher learning. Now there's only one problem with this, sports fans. Suppose the change they want isn't the change everyone else wants. You see, the problem with these quote-unquote diverse campuses is that they're diverse in everything except thought. In reality, they might as well all be wearing mouse suits and marching in lockstep, because that's where their minds are. Anti-Americanism and progressivism all the way. Now, this wasn't the only mail sent out by Mr. Lash. There was another one in which he said that in one of the discussions, some of the Hampshire College students said that the American flag to them meant never feeling safe. Well, guys, let me give you a real-world translation of what that really means. See, more often than I would have liked, I've had to live around some mugs and some thugs. And they'll share one thing in common. They don't like the police. They're afraid of the police. They fear any kind of authority. Gee, I wonder why. The truth of the matter, people, is that those who think that the American flag means never feeling safe are either ignorant or idiots, or they intend to do whatever they can in their way to bring down the United States of America, to destroy self-rule, to create a country where only a few tyrants at the top are armed, powerful, and able to run everyone's lives from cradle to grave. And the American flag is an impediment to that, because it is a symbol of it means the thing that academia would love us to forget in 2017. E pluribus unum. Out of many. One. One people. United. With the Constitutionally Federated Republic of the United States of America. All colors. All backgrounds. Ready to defend our fellows against any who would put them in chains. Either through economic tyranny or the removal of their ability to defend themselves, or under the all-grasping iron fist of the Islamic Caliphate. And what can we do about this problem on our college campuses? If these are state-supported colleges and universities, we can petition our government to tie further funding of these institutions to guarantees of unimpaired freedom of speech for all of their students. It'll send a powerful message to the mind masters and manipulators of academia. Your attempts to drive us apart will not succeed. In 2017, let's act together. E. Pluribus Unum And that's it for this time. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for listening. Much success in the year 2017, and may your God go with you. Goodbye.
The Unpleasant Blind Guy is copyright. 2016. Anno Domini.